Hello guys and, and welcome to my video. I'm going to be talking about uh, an Xbox controller, Xbox One controller that did not want to work with my game. And um, it was not something wrong with the controller. It was more of the settings, right? So I was trying to look for videos online and I think I found like a couple of them, but none of them worked for me. So I had to go and explore on my own. One was really close and it showed me uh, one important feature that I needed to do in which I'm gonna show you right now. So you go to the search bar, type in uh, device management. Okay, so it's here, device management. Um, you're gonna go to, so it's gonna look like this. You're gonna go to human interface devices. And so you can see here, I have a lot of uh, devices, right? But for me, I think it looks like there's a lot of duplicates. And so what I did is I started disabling some of them, right? And then um, once I got to this one here, um, the game controller one, um, my computer acts, well, it, sent, it was there was a message on screen and said uh, if I wanted to restart my computer after disabling, and I did, once I was done, I try hopping on to the game and you know I I was I was successful I, I got in there um, but there were still problems going on and so here's one of the problems I did have um, I couldn't spawn to some of the areas because my something was wrong with my out my configuration right so now I had to go to back here right to Steam uh, I went look for my game skater excel came to settings went to properties uh, and properties you're going to see controllers and then i enabled every single thing because it was i think it was a uh, use for your default settings and that's what was was something was wrong with that and so I, I enabled that and then i came here to controller i had this right here the guide you know I had everything controlled right here. Um, it was detecting. It was detecting before. It just wasn't working. And uh, that's pretty much what I did to this part here. I can't remember if I did anything else on here. I might have, but I don't. I think that's the majority of what I did to, on this path. But I also came to the big picture mode. Okay, that was pretty loud <laughs> all right so um i went to settings came here also on to the controller settings and then so you're going to see the same things here right and then make sure you have everything clicked here and then there's another one so here you're going to see like this part it looks empty right so big picture configuration and it's going to show you like the d-pad Make sure when you're on Steam that everything should be configured accordingly, right? Um, especially for the game, because the game needs uh, the D-pad uh, to in order for you to play, right? So you need that. And then um, so far, I have everything I think that I needed on this part. And how do I go back? Minimize picture. No, no. How do you go back? Exit Steam. All right, so. Yeah, and that was just one of the problems. I had to go back and forth and looking into my, so I can't remember exactly which one it was, like which setting part it was, but I knew that I had to configure my controller to where every single button worked. So like the, a, the X, the Y, the B, the trigger buttons, the select, the start, you know, I did all of that. And, um, and yeah, so mostly I think it's going to be in here for, you know, configuration. I think that's where it was, configuration for this game. Configuration for this game, you can see that I have an X, you know, Skater Excel, I wrote it. So this is the one right here. This is the one you need. So you can go to default, but make sure, because when I put it to default, the D-pad was not there. I had to 
put it to where it's working. So if I push up, I think it's going to show up. Make sure everything's working, right? After that's done, you're going to go up here and then, you know, just done. You're done. <clears throat> Make sure everything's working correctly. Exit. Then you can go here. This is so frustrating because I couldn't find this anywhere. And I was just like, what's going on? Because uh, what I did was I uninstalled my game because I needed storage for another game. I don't have that much storage. So I, this is not that big. And then I came back to it later. I, un I reinstalled it back again. And I couldn't play it. I was just stuck on the screen. And I got so frustrated I couldn't figure it out. I deleted the game like two times, came back to it, couldn't find it, and then nothing, right? And then so, yesterday I downloaded it, I'm like, something has to be wrong with the settings. And then, you know, I watched some videos and here we are today. I had to make my own. <laughs> Just to make my life e make your life easier, right? And then, uh, so before my problem was I, the controller would work, but nothing, it says press any button, nothing was showing up. I pushed the middle button and this will show up. This will show up for, and um, I can't remember what other setting but that will show up and then once I got it running then you can see like it's working right? And then so now, oh no. So now you can see you know it's working. much happier version now. Um, I don't know why that happened. There was an update. Uh, I don't I don't want to fully blame like there was an update and, and something went wrong. Maybe I pushed something. I don't know. Maybe my kids because they play on my computer. I don't know. But uh, it was so frustrating and I had to just keep going and figure it out. Anyways, this video is dragging on way too long and I just wanted to post this out for you guys so you guys can, you know, enjoy playing uh, Skater XL and doing mods or getting mods or whatever, making videos. <laughs> uh, go out and skate, you know, or skate in there, Skater XL if you can't skate. But uh, have fun. Hope this video was uh, entertaining or gave you knowledge and new things or helped you out. Uh, drop a like down below. And so I can start making more videos if you like this. Or, you know, up my game and do better videos, you know? Just thank you for your time. Alright, bye guys.